Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. Today I would like to talk to you about new feature that allows you to pin and interact with Power BI KPIs within Dynamics 365 for financing operation. So let's take a look at that. First, I will navigate to Dynamics 365 for financing operations and I will open a dashboard that shows me all current workspaces that come out of box. I will right click anywhere on this page and I'm going to select personalize. From there, I will click on the new menu that says add a workspace. Once you do that, you might not notice anything, but if you scroll down below, you will see the new workspace that is called my workspace one got created. I will personalize it and rename it to something more meaningful. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on personalize again. Now I will go and select a more meaningful name, for example, Power BI Demo. And I'm going to click out. So now I have new personalized workspace. I'm going to open it and you will see it's blank from the beginning. The first thing I need to do is make sure that I enable Power BI controls from it. I'm going to click on personalize this form. I'm going to click on this space over here and you will see a new dialog box opening on the right hand side that says allow Power BI control. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to click OK now and I'm gonna close personalization form. So this is very familiar to those who worked with standard out-of-box workspaces. This allows you to connect tiles and catalogs from Power BI. Uh, we will not use this directly, so we can close this for now, but it says that you can always add Power BI controls from the options menu, which we will do next. So the first thing I will go and add from an existing catalog of the reports that I have created under Power BI. So to do that, I'm going to click on Options and I'm going to click on Open Reports Catalog. On the right hand side, I will see a choice of four menus, Customer, Profitability Sample, Opportunity, Procurement and Analysis Sample. For those who worked with Power BI before, those may look familiar also. Those are sample data packs, sample data reports that come available and can be deployed from uh, powerbi.com. So let's see how it works. I will go and select customer opportunity and say procurement now, and I'm going to click OK. Right away, you see that links section have been created and it has the links to those three reports that I have just associated with my brand new custom workspace. So now the new things, if I click on the customer profitability sample, you may notice that the same page opens up. I'm still within Dynamics 365 for finance and operation. I'm not taken to powerbi.com anymore. And I see my scorecard, my report that was created in Power BI exposed through Dynamics 365 finance and operations workspace. As you can see, it's all interactive. So if you click on the graphic here, I interact with that, with that data within Dynamics 365 workspace. It's a full screen. I can click on it just again, it's all uh, dynamic slice and dice information here. You can see that my report comes with multiple tabs. So I'm on the team scorecard tab. I can click on industry margin analysis, for example. Again, this is our live data that pulls directly for my Azure uh, uh, database that is uh, basically supporting my Dynamics 365 deployment. And same thing goes here. Same as with powerbi.com, I have controls of applying specific filters etc etc so I can for example only select years of 2014 in here and data dynamically is refreshed so needless to say and I will show you in a, in a setup uh, next that this is all live data that goes directly from my live database I'm not using with the current setup I'm not using data warehouse even though you could it all depends how you set up that report in powerbi.com so I can click that workspace and now I'm back to my original Power BI demo workspace that I just created. Another way to add some visuals is add visuals directly from tiles catalog. So I'm going to click on the open tile catalog. You will see that uh, I still see my reports, customer opportunity and procurement, but now I can pin tiles directly from those catalogs to my workspace. So it takes some time to load, but I will navigate, for example, to opportunity analysis sample, and I will pick this opportunity count tile 
and I'm going to click open. When you click OK, you will see a familiar tile added to our Power BI demo workspace. Same as with the reports, this tile is interactive. When I click on it, the new pop-up window opens within Dynamics 365 where I can interact with data. So very similar to reports, but it is a visual right away. So instead of seeing a link to a report, I can uh, pin a specific visual from that report uh, directly to my workspace. Now, the next question you may ask me is how can I add more data sources that I would be available to me to add to my workspace in Dynamics 365? For that, we will need to navigate to powerbi.com. Once on the page, I'm going to click on sign in. And I will navigate to one of my workspaces that is called My Workspace. This workspace has three dashboards, three reports that we saw available through Dynamics 365, and it also has three data sets. So they basically are synced, customer profitability, opportunity analysis, and procurement analysis are those three samples that I was able to associate with my workspace that automatically created three dashboards and three reports with the same names and those reports I was able to pin to my uh, workspace in Dynamics 365. So let's add one more sample to our data set. So I'm in my workspace and I'm going to click on this plus sign over here create and I'm going to select data set. Those are the choices that I have and for this purposes I'm going to click on samples and I will for example now select supplier quant quality as analysis sample. Once you click on that, you will see that yellow button that says connect. I'm going to click on that. And it takes some time to add that sample to my workspace. Once it is added, I will navigate back to my Power BI workspace within Dynamics 365. I'm going to click on options and I'm going to click on reports catalog. You will see here that I see now supplier quality analysis workspace, which I can add as a link over here and the same thing applies. I'm going to click on that supplier quality and my Power BI dashboard would, op would open, same functionality applies. Or once I click on it, close it and go back to my workspace, I can add it as a tile, a specific tile from that supplier quality analysis sample. So I'm going to click on that supplier quality analysis. I'm going to wait a bit for it to load those snippets of those tiles. And let's say I'm going to add this total de defect quantity to it. There it is. Now, one more thing that I want to show you is that so far it's been all sample data. So how about me actually generating a KPI or a Power BI report that actually uses my uh, Dynamics 365 data instead of sample data? We can do that also. For that, you will need a Try a pro license for your Power BI subscription. So you can see that I have activated a trial. It's valid for 32 more days. And let me show you how you will do that. So same thing goes here. I'm still in my workspace. I'm going to click on create and I'm going to click on data sets. So same selection applies here. And instead of picking a sample, I will go and click on services. This shows me uh, third parties, including Microsoft and their applications that they made available uh, to be used within Power BI framework. I will go and search for Dynamics. And right away, the dynamically filters the available apps to me. And I see that I have 20 apps. And what I'm looking for is actually something that would work with my uh, Dynamics 365 or AX. So I can see that there's a Microsoft Dynamics 365 for financials, which is a different thing. But what I'm looking for, for example, is Microsoft Dynamics X Cost Management, which is an app published by Microsoft. And I can just click on Get It Now. And that's where I need to go and set up that app so it can work properly with my uh, Dynamics environment. So the first thing it's asking me is my Dynamics AX URL. So this is my home link. I will go back to my Dynamics and I will copy that URL, leaving, of course, the part with, uh, I'm just going to call and copy that home URL and I'm going to paste it into that box right here. I'm going to click next. Uh, it didn't do it the second time I did it, but the first time when you do it, it may ask you about authentication method. And because we are connecting to Dynamics 365 for finance and operation, you have to select O authentication, O data authentication method that would allow you to enter your 
email and the password that is associated with your uh, user account in Dynamics 365. So once the synchronization happened, I can go and open my workspace and let's take a look at that cost management um, report that Microsoft has created for us. So it's going to take some time to load for the first time, but mind you, this is something that Microsoft has created. It's a collection of reports and KPIs that Microsoft were useful for cost managers in their organization. So here's our cost management report. It has multiple tabs over here, inventory overall, inventory by site, inventory aging, etc., etc. I can also click on the dashboard, cost management dashboard shows me some inventory terms, accuracy, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of data here. And in this case, the source of the data is actually my Dynamics 365 for finance and operation demo environment that we have here at Nexon Consulting. So now let's go back to the Dynamics 365 and I'm gonna add first my cost management as a report link. So I'm gonna click on the options, open report catalog and I will select the cost management that is a newly available option to me and I'm going to click on OK. So you will see that cost management link uh, has been added here. Once I click on it, I can see my cost management report open within my workspace in Dynamics 365. So same functionality here. You can select inventory overall. So it looks like I'm 99.8% accurate on my inventory. I can see that inventory ending balances by resource group is audio, which is 1.96 million, then CTV audio. So that looks very familiar to those who worked with Contoso data before. So I'm gonna click on this audio and it's gonna dynamically filter the rest. All right, so that's a report link. Now let's do the same thing one more time by adding a report tile. So I'm gonna click on options again, open tile catalog. And from here, I'm going to click on my cost management report catalog. I will wait a few seconds for it to refresh and show me snippets of those reports. And I will scroll, for example, and pick that inventory aging graph that looks kind of cool. Here we go. So just to summarize, what I showed you today is I showed you how to create a custom workspace in Dynamics 365 for operations. I showed you how you can add report links or report tiles to that workspace using sample data. And I'll also show you how you can use services that are created by third parties or Microsoft that actually use your data source to generate similar types of reports and tiles that again can be attached to the workspace in Dynamics 365. That is all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.